Hey, Alberto Pau here, founder of the Forex Income Accelerator. I want to start this video first by saying thank you. Thank you so much for all the comments and emails you've been sending about the previous video in this series. It's so heartwarming for me to know that there are so many people like you out there who are looking to make a difference not just to their lives, but also to the lives of the people around you through trading. I also want you to know that no matter what your life conditions are, you can make it as a successful trader because if you would have been with me 14 years ago, you would have seen a very different Alberto Pau. At the time, I was working as a bank clerk for Barclays and I was making about £1,600 a month, which is just under Two thousand US dollars per month, which, after debt repayments and living expenses in London, meant that there was always too much month at the end of the money. But I made a decision at that point in my life that I was going to be the master of my own destiny and start my own business. Now, bear in mind, I didn't have any savings. The only funds I had was about twenty-five thousand dollars in redundancy money, which, with hindsight was the best thing that could have happened because I went on to invest those funds in myself through a series of courses, seminars, home study courses, books, etc. And today, the business that I created as a result of that education has gone on to generate in excess of $500,000. But let me tell you that there is nothing special about me. If you were to meet me on the street, you would see a regular, ordinary, everyday kind of guy. I've actually sold that business now. Let me tell you why. Because about four years ago, my brother broke it to me that his youngest son, my nephew, was diagnosed with cancer. And to cut a long story short, we didn't know how much longer he would live or even if he would live to fight through it all. He was only three years old. Now, I want you to imagine cancer treatment hospitals are as daunting as a place in reality as maybe they are in your mind. Meaning, it's those never-ending, silent grey corridors, smelling of chlorine, with doctors rushing back and forth. I can tell you, it's a very daunting and depressing prospect for an adult, let alone for a little three-year-old boy. And so, for this little innocent child to spend the rest of his life in there was a very daunting experience indeed, not just for him, but for everyone around him. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. He kept on screaming every time he had to go back in. It was heartbreaking. What that meant is that, at best, he would have to spend the rest of his childhood in, in a hospital. And at worst, that he would have to spend the rest of his life in a hospital. I wanted to be next to him in what may have been his last few days or months and I wanted to be able to support my brother as well in the same way that he supported me as I was growing up. But I couldn't. I had to be in front of my laptop, working, answering support queries, writing the blog posts, processing the payments, running the business of mine that I had become a slave to. So I had this flash of inspiration because I had seen this financial expert Robert Kiyosaki a few years back, so I figured he was the answer to all things. Or at least I think he said something similar on his infomercial. I had paid to go to one of his mastermind events in the US. And so there I was, sitting in the very first row of the seminar room, and Robert goes on to teach something called the cash flow quadrant. He goes on to show this chart with on the bottom left a big S for self-employed people and on the bottom right a big I for investors. Then he goes to ask to all those in the room who are either employed or self-employed. Are you able to take a six-week holiday with you continuing to get paid with the business continuing to run without you? The room goes... No. He then asks the investors in the room. If you take a six-week holiday, are your investments still going to be working for you? People go, yes, of course. And so there and then, 
I decided I would sell my business and invest in Robert Kiyosaki's Forex trading course, which was in itself tens of thousands in investment. I took the course and in those three short days, my life changed completely. And I can still remember thinking to myself back then, what a shame I had to go all the way from the UK to the United States to get that type of training. And so I thought to myself privately, Alberto, maybe that's why you're here. Maybe that's meant to be you. Which was closely followed by another voice that said, Who the bloody hell do you think you are? You know what I mean, like, we probably all have that voice, don't we? That voice that inside pulls us down and makes us think small when we have all these grand scheme of plans we want to do. Like becoming a successful trader. Like contributing to society, right? And so I parked the idea and forgot about it altogether. Until when I land back in the UK, I get a call from my brother. And he tells me that my nephew had been given the all clear and that was some of the best news I have ever heard in my life. So I asked myself, is this a sign I should be paying this blessing forward somehow? Is this my calling? And so as soon as I finished that call, I made a decision that no matter what, I was going to give back the blessing that I was going to commit to helping others transform their lives. And I had no way of doing it. I had no experience. I didn't really have the spare time. And I certainly didn't have the confidence. I just had this overriding dream, this passion, if you will, to share my blessing and to help others become successful. And I know that's why you're listening to this at the same time. So I want to tell you, dreams do come true. Because quite recently, I got to make my very first donation to a cancer charity, partially as a result of the extra revenue generated through helping other traders. Meaning, that very first charity that helped my nephew through his years of chemotherapy, I was now able to donate to. So, dreams do come true if you start with an idea and then that idea grows and becomes bigger and bigger and bigger until one day you step in and you become part of that dream. So, as you can see, anybody can do this. If you allow my rocky road to become your shortcut to success, maybe you can make it as a successful trader even faster than I did. So, let's go now look at the trend spotter formula. What the trend spotter formula is, is a dead simple formula, as you will see, that allows you to identify the direction of the market in any market, any time frame. So if you're looking at a chart and you're sitting there, oh, is this market going up? Is it going down? Is it trading sideways? I don't know what to do, I'm confused. That's exactly when you want to use the trend spotter formula because it will tell you which way the market is going, either up or down, as simple as that. So what I want you now to do is to take a piece of paper and a pen and write on the left hand side of that paper the word trend, just like I have here. So what's the first element of the trend spotter formula? It's very simple. There are only two numbers you need to remember. 50, 50 and 200. Because the first element of the trend spotter formula is the time period. We will be using something called moving averages over two time periods, 50 and 200. If you're not familiar with moving averages, they are simply the average of the price over the previous 50 days or weeks or months or whatever your time frame happens to be. So for example, a 50 day moving average will be the average of the price over the previous 50 days. If this sounds complex, don't worry because any charting platform will do the calculation for you. And I will show you an example in a second. So we're looking at two time periods, 50 and 200. That's all you need to know. What is the next element in the trend spotter formula? The next element is we want to be comparing how the two moving averages 
stand against each other. So we will be looking at whether the 50 period moving average is above or below the 200 period moving average. And that's why we'll be looking at their relative position. The relative position of the 50 period moving average versus the 200 period moving average will tell us whether we are in an up or a down or a neutral market. If the 50 period moving average is above the 200 period moving average, then that means we are in an expanding market. We are in an uptrend. This is a reminder. With the trend spotter formula, we are never in a neutral market. The formula always tells us whether we are in an expanding market, an uptrend, or whether we are in a diminishing market or a downtrend. We always have certainty and direction over which way the market is going, either up or down. So let me show you a quick example of how you can use the trend spotter formula in your trading in no more than a few minutes. I have here a price chart. This is Euro dollar on the M15 time frame. I'm going to go under insert, indicators, then trend, then moving average. And here I will select 200 as the period and then I will have it in green. And I can see here that the 200 period moving average is being automatically plotted for me. Then I'm going to do the same, which is insert indicators trend moving average. And this time I want to have the 50 period moving average and I will have it in red. And here we go. I have the 50 period moving average. What you will notice is that the shorter moving average will always be more volatile, will always follow the price closer than the equivalent longer period moving average. So let's have a look and see what this tells us about the trend direction. Well, we can see here that the 50 period moving average, the red line, is crossing under the green line. So that means we're in a downtrend. Then the red line crosses above the green line we are in, in an uptrend and then for a very short period it just about crosses below the green line and then it crosses above the green line again we are in an uptrend then we are in a downtrend then we are here in a very strong uptrend with the red line crossing above the green line downtrend strong uptrend strong downtrend and so on and so forth so you can see now, by applying this very simple moving average formula, we can tell at any point in time, no matter how choppy the market is, whether the market is in an uptrend or in a downtrend. So what the trend spotter formula does is that it gives you a simple way of identifying which way the trend is in any market. It's not really about the specific trade you're looking at. It's not about what the latest guru said on TV about the markets. It's about using charts to achieve your financial goals with confidence. And that's why I do what I do as well. That's why I recorded this video teaching you this stuff. It's my hope that this will help you. I hope that one day we will get to meet and maybe one day you'll share how these videos help you transform your trading career and improve your and your loved one's lifestyle as well. That will make all this work I've been doing for you worthwhile. To know that I've reached out to you and that somehow I've influenced your life in some way and that it brought you closer to achieving success. In the next video in this series, we're going to be talking about who you should follow in the markets and who you shouldn't. And if you tune in, I promise you a real treat. So make sure you watch out for that email to tell you about that in just the next few days. If you haven't already, put me on your whitelist to make sure that my videos and my emails get through to you. Please make sure you do that. I would hate for you to miss out on this transformational content. Also, if you look below the video, you'll see that there is a place for you to leave some comments. We've got a great community going on now, so 
please join in and leave some comments about how this video helped you in one way, shape or form, or tell me about a trade that you've been looking at where you're going to start using this stuff for yourself. So go ahead and write those comments. Look forward to the next video. And of course, as always, I wish you all the wealth and all the happiness in the world. See you soon.